Speaking of the Pies, let's get straight into it. I'll defer to you guys. But Nathan Buckley had this to say about his future at a press conference today, declaring he'd like to be the coach of the Magpies next year. If I had a two-year contract now, I wouldn't be coaching any differently to what I'm doing day-to-day right now. You know, our list profile is forcing our hand in many ways, and that's a position that we knew that we were going to be in. Do I want to continue? The short answer is yes. Do I want to coach? Yes. Beyond this year? Yes. At this club? Yes. We will have that conversation in the back half of the year. The only thing that matters is what's best for the Collingwood Footy Club. I think he said what he needed to because he's been asked that a number of times. It's going to happen week after week after week. But previous to that, he, to me, he looked like a man who was going to say, I'm not going to beg for my job. So I'm not going to put my hand up and say, yes, I'm desperate. Uh, whereas tonight he said, yes, I want this job, which I think everyone wanted, he needed to say. Otherwise, he was going to be badgered for it week after week after week. But I think what's going to happen here is big fortnight, the Suns and North Melbourne the next two weeks. I think some wins for Collingwood would relieve some pressure for the Nathan and the Collingwood Footy Club, move it on to someone, someone else. But I think the club has the decision to make. Nathan's a wonderful person. You can see how much they respect Nathan at the Collingwood Footy Club for everything he's done. But is it Nathan for the next few years? Uh, to you know, maybe inject these but young kids Lord, into it, or is it, is it a you fresh make, face and fresh voice? You make a good point yeah. there. But Nathan's been at the club for 28 years. Yeah, that's right. Uh, yeah. He doesn't need a contract. Uh, he'll, he'll be there until he, he's no longer No, but there. the decision is there for yeah. the club, isn't it? I don't that's understand it, the we know, narrative. We know the mean. Mm. I don't understand the narrative. 2018 Coach of the Year, yeah. one kick-off for Premiership, mm. uh, 11 players under 30 games, five players under 10. Mm. They haven't been blown away in a game. No Dugowie, Adams, Howe and Elliott. Mm. And we're talking about, is he coaching well? He just said that the list profile mm. has resulted in some decisions. They're making the call. I still think it goes back to pre-season. Mm. We need to reset. Salary cap, yep. trade out. Let's reset. Let's get games into them. But He's the club's got the right a decision thing. to make, though, Ross. But, that, that's but the where it's a result-driven... Yeah. It's a result-win-loss conversation-driven by the media. I, you can't make it about win-loss. You know it's always win-loss, Ross. You it doesn't make it right. It anyway. doesn't yeah. make it right. Not when you've coached for 10 years. Mm. His training wheels are off. Mm. We're seeing other clubs are bringing in whatever they bring in to support yeah. coaches. And he's through that. He knows what he's getting. He's been calm. He's been measured. And I just don't, I don't like the narrative. I think it's wrong and he's doing everything right. Is he and he's helped, affirmed like... his players today. Because he's the leader. They're looking to see, oh, are you in or not? So he was compelled to say, I mm, want a coach. Mm, mm. And he's done the right thing. Is he being um, put under pressure by the new president saying this? Yeah, we hope to make finals. If we had a one yesterday, we would have been only one game out of the eight. So, yeah, we still mathematically can make it. We hope so. We're focused on winning games and hopefully playing finals. So is that unrealistic, Ross? Well, is that hope, more pressure hope on him? springs eternal. It's still mathematically possible. So I don't think he said it's so an you'd expectation. Sign him out. You, you would, you, what no, you're no, saying now you're that... putting words in my mouth. What I'm saying is if you're judging whether you sign him or not, how about let him see out his contract, make a full assessment, let him get through the year, let the players review and review heavily, they're supported, and then make a considered decision. But I'm not sure how you can dismiss his coaching ability because they're one five. I don't think anyone's doing that. Well, we I... are. We're saying, is he, you know, we're, we're signing him or moving him But, on. Ross, the club made, Frio made a decision on you at some point in time, didn't they? As soon so, as they could make finals. Yeah, so that's what I'm saying. So that's, all we're saying is the club, the board, they, they've got a decision to make on Nathan. So you're right. There's injuries, no, there's kids, no, there's no, all those no, things. No, I think, I think everyone gets too carried away yeah. with this. I know when I was there, the last time we had this yeah. decision, we made the decision on what we had. Yeah. We wanted to see where our list was, what we needed to do. Did we need to get other people around, Nathan? Did we need to change the football yeah. department up? Which we did. Mm. Did we get rid of... Uh, not get rid of, Did we change up the CEO's role? Did we get other people? Yeah. We looked at the whole of club. Of course. It's yeah. not just one bloke doing Of course. But, it, but there's no doubt that they've got a discuss, discussion to make. That but there was a discussion no, done last year. No, about seven about seven saying, players out of their best I know, 20 but there's no <laughs> certainty that Nathan coaches next year. Would you agree with that? Well, you know, I can't predict the future. That's right. But, but that's why it's a discussion, Ross. But when you sign a contract... Do you expect that when you signed a football contract that the club would say to you, come to you in the middle of the year at the Bombers and Matty Knights comes to you and says, you've still got, what is it, it's around six, there's 16 games to go, you're not flying. Matty goes, look, we don't like this heading, we're not going to go with you next year. Or would you like the 16 weeks to prove yourself and then, then make That's a decision? That's right, he's got to prove himself Which one next would you year. like? What's that? 
What would you like? The, the first 16 one. That, weeks? That, 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 that happens a lot, though. Clubs extend that coaches make it right. when they and don't You know have what? To. There's been a lot of but, ordinary management of clubs. that's why it's a story, Ross. You've been around footy longer than anyone. Yeah, but it's you a know, story. You know it's a story. A story. I'm just bringing rationale to and, it and uh, clear perspective. Mm. But can I tell you from inside in that situation, it's not a story. You heard Mark Quarter there. He knows what he's doing. The board knows what it's doing. The did board the knew what it did last year. No, but the last year, as Ross said, a decision was made with COVID and the salary cap coming back. Collingwood salary cap is now in a really good position going forward. Decisions were made, and that's a whole club decision. Does the Buckley comments that he wants to go on? I said on Monday, I needed to hear that from. Well, you heard Buckley, it. You I, heard I, it I did. Does that put pressure on? No, the club no now? pressure. I, I heard it today. I go, good. That's okay. it. Right. Let's get on with it. All right.